you need to do a detailed disassembly, also referred to as a stripping, may be necessary for cleaning, replacement of parts, or inspection of the SMLE Mark III Star rifle. This should be done in a clutter-free area. The tools required to complete a detailed disassembly include assorted screwdrivers, a long screwdriver or extension, pliers, hammer with small punches, bolt takedown tool, and wad removal tool. Throughout disassembly, ensure screwdriver blades fit in screw heads properly. Too small of a blade may damage the screw head. Ensuring the rifle is unloaded and safe is a first step to any disassembly or maintenance. With the bolt knob raised and the bolt head drawn back to the resisting shoulder, release the bolt head with the forefinger of the right hand from the retaining spring. Raise the bolt head to the full extent, draw it back, and remove the bolt. Remove the piling swivel screw. Then remove the piling swivel. Remove the nose cap screws front and back. The nose cap can then be removed. Remove the outer band screw. The swivel and outer band can then be removed. The front handguard with cap can then be lifted off. Remove the inner band screw and spring from the bottom of the stock forend. Remove the magazine by depressing the magazine catch toward the receiver and lifting out the magazine. Remove the front and back trigger guard screws. Note that the front trigger guard screw may be staked in place. The trigger guard can then be lifted out. Remove the trigger pin with a punch. Then remove the trigger. The stock forend can then be lifted off the barreled receiver. Remove the stud and spring from the front of the stock forend. Remove the rear side protector screw.
then lift off the protector. The nut can then be removed from the stock. A punch or something similar may be necessary to push this out of the stock. Raise the back sight leaf and remove the rear handguard. Remove the butt plate screws. The butt plate can then be removed. Remove the trap spring screw and spring. If necessary, the trap can be removed by punching out the pin. Remove the stock wad with removal tool. This can also be accomplished with a bent wire coat hanger or something similar. Remove the stock bolt with the extended screwdriver. The stock butt can then be removed. A stock bolt washer should be present, but may remain in the stock. If so, do not remove the washer unless needed. The washer may be a spring washer or a flat washer. Remove the rear sling swivel screws. The rear sling swivel can then be removed. Remove the locking bolt spring screw. Note that the locking bolt spring screw may be staked in place. Then remove the spring. washer, then locking bolt and safety catch. The locking bolt can then be removed from the safety. Remove the sear spring by compressing the spring with a set of pliers. Remove the sear screw. Note that the sear screw may be staked in place. Then remove the retaining spring and sear. The magazine catch can be removed by punching out the pin.
To disassemble the sight leaf, remove the cap screw. The cap can then be removed. Press the slide catch screw and remove the slide from the leaf. Punch out the access pin and remove the leaf. Remove the rear side spring screw. The spring can then be removed from the bed. It may need to be drifted out with a punch. Do not remove the sight bed from serviceable rifles. To strip the bolt, unscrew the bolt head. Remove the extractor screw. Using a 1 16th inch punch or the striker, press the stud on the extractor spring out of the small hole on the side of the bullet head. Prevent the extractor spring from flying out by placing your finger over the extractor spring. Remove the extractor spring and extractor. Remove the striker screw from the rear of the bolt. See that the stud on the caulking piece is in the short cam. Unscrew the striker from the caulking piece using a SMLE bolt tool. Remove the striker and mainspring from the bolt. Remove the mainspring from the striker. To strip the magazine, depress the rear end of the platform as far as possible, at the same time holding up the front end. Then pull the front end of the platform toward the rear end of the case passing it under the front side lips and forcing it between the inner forward ribs of the case. The front end of the platform should then rise up out of the case. Then tilt the rear of the platform sideways, left side uppermost, and drop forward out of the case. With the rifle fully disassembled, the parts can be inspected, replaced if necessary, and cleaned. Further disassembly requires specialized tools beyond the scope of this video. To reassemble the magazine, replace the follower and spring in reverse manner of disassembly. To reassemble the back sight, replace the spring. This may need to be drifted into place with a punch. Then replace the spring screw.
Replace the sight leaf on the bed and insert the axis pin. A punch may be useful to help align the sight leaf and bed while the axis pin is replaced. Replace the slide on the leaf, ensuring the slide catch warm gear is on the right. Replace the cap and screw. Replace the magazine catch and pin. Replace the sear. The long side should be toward the top of the receiver. Replace the retaining spring and the sear screw through the retaining spring and sear. Replace the sear spring with the long side to the rear using pliers. The spring will lock into the notches on the sear and magazine catch. To reassemble the locking bolt and safety catch, place the safety catch on the stem of the locking bolt. When the safety catch is screwed home, the top end should be in line with the rear end of the thumb piece on the locking bolt. Replace the locking bolt and safety catch in the receiver. Replace the washer. Spring, ensuring the washer is aligned with the spring. And screw. Replace the rear sling swivel. Ensure the loop is offset to the right of the stock. Assemble the stock butt to the body. Screw home the stock bolt, replacing the washer if removed. Depending on the stock and bolt combination, if the bolt has a squared off end and it protrudes through the face of the body, Ensure that the square end of the bolt is in the correct position for the keeper plate on the handguard. Replace the wad. The oiler can be used to fully seat the wad. Assemble the butt plate by replacing the trap spring and spring screw.
Replace the butt plate with the butt plate screws. To assemble the forehand, replace the sight protector, ensuring it is offset to the right. And protector screw. While holding the protector screw in place with your finger, replace the protector nut. You may need to hold the screw from the inside of the stock with either your finger or another screwdriver while tightening the nut. Replace the forehand stud and spring. Replace the forehand, taking care that the inner band and the forehand stud and spring are in their correct position in the recesses in the forehand. Replace the inner band spring and screw. Replace the trigger and trigger pin in the guard. Replace the trigger guard. Ensure that the top of the trigger is behind the sear. And screws back in front. Raise the back sight leaf and replace the rear handguard. Ensure the clips on the handguard align with the recesses in the forend. Then lower the back sight leaf. Replace the front handguard. Replace the outer band. swivel, and screw. The screw should be snug, but the swivel should be able to move. Replace the nose cap. and screws front and back. Replace the piling swivel and piling swivel screw.
Replace the magazine. To reassemble the bolt, replace the mainspring on the striker. Threaded end first, replace the mainspring and striker in the bolt. Then place the cocking piece in position on the bolt, ensuring that the stud is in the long cam. Using the bolt tool, screw home the striker until the end is flush with the rear end of the cocking piece. and the keeper screw recess is in the correct position. Replace the keeper screw. Assembly of the bolt head is most easily done with the use of a vise. To assemble the bolt head, Replace the spring. Ensuring the bend in the spring extrudes through the hole in the back of the bolt head and the stud is aligned with the recess on the side of the bolt head. Using vise job pads or something similar to not damage these screw threads, secure the bolt head in the vise facing up. To replace the extractor, using a screwdriver blade, compress the spring until the extractor can be replaced, ensuring the claw is toward the bolt face. Replace the screw. Screw home the bolt head. To replace the bolt, see that the resting lug and cocking piece are in a straight line. And that the bolt head is screwed home. Place the bolt in the body with the extractor upward. Push forward the bolt till the head is clear of the resisting shoulder. Turn the bolt head down to the right, pressing it over the retaining spring. Close the breech and press the trigger. This completes assembly of the rifle. To function check the rifle, push the safety catch forward, raise the knob, and draw the bolt right back. The bolt should not come out of the receiver, and the bolt head should remain engaged with the retaining spring. Push the bolt forward and down. The cocking piece should extrude from the bolt. Put the safety catch back. The bolt should be locked. Press the trigger. The trigger should move to the rear, but the striker should not be released. Push the safety catch forward. Press the trigger. The striker should be released and retract into the bolt. Put the safety catch back. This completes the function check. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting or helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Then let us know what you thought or would like to see with a comment. If you would like to support the channel, a link to our Patreon page is in the description or you can become a subscriber on Utreon. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.